Hello and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. Uh, what we are talking about in this set of videos is citizenship and uh, how you are or can be a U.S. citizen. And we just did a video on the fact if you are basically born in the U.S. or its territories or commonwealths that you are a U.S. citizen at the time of birth. Uh, but the question becomes, what if you don't have proof of where you were born? What if you have no evidence that you were born in the U.S.? Well, there's an actual provision uh, of uh, the Immigration and Nationality Act, uh, INA Section 301F, which essentially says the absence of an official birth certificate is not decisive as to whether a person was born in the U.S. A person of unknown parentage found in the U.S. while under the age of five is considered a U.S. citizen by birth unless proven not to have been born in the U.S. prior to the age of 21. So therefore, you know how immigration is. Basically, you send an application to show you're a U.S. citizen and they say, prove it, uh, which most of the time you do have to. If you don't have evidence that you were born in the U.S., but they don't have evidence that you weren't born in the U.S. by age 21, and you are actually found in the U.S. or were in the U.S. before age 5, then the law says that you're presumed to be a U.S. citizen, presumed to be inside the U.S. So this is a good fact to know if you happen to, uh, you know, basically you're, uh, you were born in a very small city or you're, uh, there was uh, whatever the situation occurred where you were born in the U.S. and then, you know, your mother takes you back to, for example, Mexico and you grow up there. Uh, but you found out you were born in the U.S. This is a very nice provision to allow uh, you to claim U.S. citizenship and put the burden on immigration to prove otherwise. Okay, more on the coming videos.